Droners, welcome to this week's edition of Droner News. This week we have people making drones that shoot guns. We have people controlling drones with their cell phone networks. And we got a lot more. Why don't you come check it out? At number one, we have more part 107 news. Because I love the part 107 because we make money with it. I love making money. This, the FAA has already started to issue waivers for the Part 107 to allow people to do things they normally couldn't do under Part 107. For example, CNN has just gotten a waiver to be able to fly over crowds of people's heads with a Photokite Pro, which is like a really little tiny two pound drone and it carries a GoPro and is tethered. So it's a very light, very reasonable drone to be flying over people's heads, but it's a step in the right direction. They're gonna allow things to happen. Also, we have the company called Precision Hawk worked with NASA and FAA to be able to get the out of line of sight waiver, which means that they are allowed to fly their drones out of the line of sight, which is not allowed typically under part 107. So it looks like the FAA is really malleable when it comes to working with people. And that's really good news for all us drone operators. Coming in at number two, and also number two biggest cell phone company in the United States, AT&T, Qualcomm Technologies to be able to use the cellular network to be able to fly a drone. Now this is a really big deal based upon what I said in the last piece of the news is that you can now get waivers to fly drones outside of iLine and now you can fly them with your phones. That's a really, really big deal. Obviously because you can control your phone from almost anywhere. You're connected to the cell phone network from almost anywhere. So of course it's a big deal to be able to do that with your phone, which you already can do is fly drones through your phone, but you can't fly them through your cell network. And AT&T is jumping on that, big deal. Coming in at number three, we have a very dangerous drone. If you've watched the previous week's editions of Droner News, you've seen that there's been a drone that they used to blow up the guy in, was it Texas or whatever? They blew a guy up um, with a drone, the police department. And now this Israeli tech firm, General Robotics, has developed a drone, a rolly drone, that has a pistol that sits in it sideways and it flips up the sideways pistol and shoots people. Seriously. Like, like straight up like gangster like sideways pistol shoots you. A drone does that from the ground. It can climb steps, it can be controlled obviously remotely, and it can kill people. I don't know how I feel about that. That's actually all I have to say. Coming in at number four, the Air Force of the United States of America is having trouble finding drone pilots. Seriously, people who can fly their drones, people who can be, who can fly these really expensive things like the video game. And they're finding there's a lot of issues with their drone pilots. For example, they are not treated equally with the other pilots. So they feel like, you know, a little kid left out. They didn't get picked on the cool kids team. They didn't wear the right shoes to the party. So they get picked on. And as well as that, their job is pretty shitty. Like they go into an office sitting in an enclosed space and they fly missions all day long, seeing all kind of stuff. Now, this is a super technical skill that they're learning, and the only people that learn it are people who go through their program. But now, the people who go through their program are getting out of the military so quickly and not wanting to do it so quickly, they're finding there's a void. And the military is having to subcontract out the reconnaissance missions to people who used to work for them and pay them a lot more, have them work a lot less hours, and have them doing a lot of less, let's say, dangerous work? We'll just leave it at that. Either way, they're having trouble, so drone pilots, I guess if you won't do it, they're looking for you. Coming in at number five, if you know me personally, you know I am slightly obsessed with whales. Seriously, they're the best. They're the best thing ever. And there has been a really cool thing that happened is that there has been footage of a baby right whale captured from a drone. Now this is a big deal because baby right whales are very difficult to film and sometimes they're born white as you can see. And this is for me super, super awesome because right whales are really reclusive when they, when they have their babies. So we don't even really get to see them, period. And now because of drones, because drones are awesome, we get to see more whales, which for me is always a win. And it should be a win for everybody because whales are the best. Droners, thank you again for watching this week's episode of Droner News. You're awesome. And if you do like what you see, you can click here for more of what you can saw. Yeah, I said that right. Or if you want to do some more seeing stuff, you can see it over here. Yep, not describing it this time. Either way, make sure you're the homie. You hit the subscribe button and uh, stay fly.